What's up everybody, it's your boy Dak908 aka The Dig Dug himself and I just want to show you guys real quick what comes with the Mercedes-Benz DLC. Now we already know necessarily what comes with it, you know, get some Mercedes-Benz cars. But let's see it in some real action, you know what I mean? And I um, just want to show you guys like maybe some stats or something like that for the Mercedes-Benz as well. So let's go ahead and see what that look like. Just, just going to select something. Alright, normally I'm a Baby Mario kind of guy. Baby Mario or Daisy. Uh, but Baby Mario is an acceleration character, so I guess I'll just show you what the stats look like for an acceleration character. Uh, let's go ahead and select it. Okay, we have the GLA. Alright, now with standard wheels and standard gliders and everything, this is what you'll get with the GLA if, you, if you're an acceleration character type. Um, looks to be that old school has the best acceleration. And older, on oldest school has the best acceleration. Old school is not far behind, and new school probably has the most weight and handling. Not necessarily handling, but just weight. Excuse me. All right, now let's see about uh, normal character like, well, I like Daisy. I like Daisy. Um, let's see here. Her stats would be pretty much, yeah, down the road, a little there. And then a heavy character like uh, popular choice is Rosalina. I don't ever use Rosalina though. But let's see what her stats look like. Okay. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Now, they also gave us a tire to go with it. Now, the tire is the same as the standard tire, it's just for looks. It's cosmetic, guys. Definitely cosmetic. So, it just looks the part. You know, it feels as if it like fits the Mercedes Benz mold. Um, I'm going to give. I'm gonna take this take this for a spin. I will be using Daisy though. It's just my preferred character. Um, I tried all the vehicles, starting with the oldest one because I don't know. I feel like I'm just gonna use it the most because it just looks dope. Not because of stats. I care less for stats. It's all about looks for me. All right. Uh, so I'm gonna let you know what, what I think about this thing. I'm gonna give it a, you know a couple of test runs. You know, you got some multiplayer footage. Let you know what I think. Uh, but anyway, hold on till then. After spending a little time with the cars, I feel as if neither car, you know, really feels better than the other one. You know what I mean? They, they all feel really good for their, you know, for the what they are. I want to say that they're all extremely balanced. Uh, whether you play either of these cars, um, you're going to feel just the same as anyone else. So, um, if anything's just a really purely cosmetic car, like, they're really balanced, guys. And uh, even the wheels there, the the special GLA wheels, are just the standard wheels. You know what I mean? They're just standard wheels, but just cosmetically overdone in terms of uh, uh, attributes and things like that. So, I don't know, if you just want to have a nice a little flair to you, or if you like the, the standard vehicles, like the standard car, the standard bike, you just like standard stuff, um, sure, give it a whirl. I mean, they all feel roughly the same, you know what I mean? Um, I will say probably my personal favorite would be the, uh, not the Roadster, um, the old school, not the old, old, old school, but the old school, you know, the last one I used, I would say that one's probably my favorite, um, I think because it, for me anyway, I feel as if it handles a bit better, but, uh, that's just my opinion, um, but, all in all, really good cars, I mean, it's free DLC, you can't go wrong with it, uh, it, anyone's up to get it, also, don't forget that if you do pre-order both the DLCs, you're able to get different Shy Guy colors and different Yoshi colors, you just want to add that because I completely forgot about that one. Um, but on the whole guys yeah great uh, great little piece of DLC I'm really glad in terms of actually uh, you know doing DLC they've done DLC for Pikmin they've done DLC for um, um, what was it ah, I think it was just Pikmin might be in a couple of the well they did, was doing a lot of DLC for 3DS but in terms of Wii U been skimpy on the DLC but I will say that this upcoming DLC for the Mario Kart 8 line things looks extremely good. So I'm really happy Nintendo's actually taking this route with getting DLC to their customers. And by starting off the little DLC escapade with these free cards right here, it's a nice touch. I mean, they look great, they feel good, and it's just really dope. So that's my review on it. It's great. It's been your boy.